Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to go through how you can leave feedback uh, as a seller on eBay. I'm going to go through how you can leave feedback for up to 200 orders at the one time as well. So the first thing you need to do is go over to eBay, eBay.com.ie.co.uk. Okay, so you need to be registered for Seller Hub so the screen looks the same as mine. If you're not, you should be able to do it, but it might be slightly different. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing you need to do is go up to my eBay and then go down to selling. So once you click selling, it will bring you to your uh, seller hub page. Next thing you need to do is go to see all orders. Okay. So on eBay, you can only leave feedback for a maximum of 60 days. So if it's selected 90 days, you may need to reduce it down slightly. Also, you will want to have uh, one to 200. So when you go down here, <clears throat> you'll want to make sure that the, on the bottom of the page, it's a little slow opening because it's very large at the minute. So once it does this, this here, you need to make sure 200 is actually selected. If it's any smaller number, you won't be able to do it. Okay, so we'll go back right back up to the top. So on these ones here, I'd say some of these are probably older than 90 days. So I might want to change my time frame. So if I just do a custom time frame, I'm going <clears> to <throat> change this to 2023. So it's August 2023 now. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a month. Okay, sorry. It's a little bit on the slow side. I'm just going to pick a month time frame and just make it easier. I should have started off with the earlier one. So it's going to keep going. Okay, so let's go this way. And I'm just going to pick June. Okay, so let's select first to June. So I should have a month period in here. So you can do up to 200 orders at the one time. So if you want to leave feedback for all of these orders, you simply click the top action here. Okay, so that'll have selected all 200 orders. If there's someone you do not want to leave feedback for, maybe the bad experience, you can scroll down here and you can untick any of those. Okay, so once you do that, you can click leave feedback. So you have a couple of choices in here. You can put in your custom feedback here and you can type whatever you like, or you can use the stored feedback. There's also a couple of choices. You have these options here. I usually just pick randomly apply my, my store to each buyer. And then I'm just gonna simply click leave feedback. And it should leave feedback for 200 out of the 555. So you just need to move on to the next page and do the same thing again. And that the feedback will have been left. It says for 141 orders. Probably maybe I'm outside the time frame now or else possibly that I'd already left feedback for some of them ahead. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.